Neighbors of the longtime Ann Street garage manager mourning the loss of someone they describe as a father figure. His daughter and his son came and she was just like, it was an accident at work and he passed. Very outgoing. Um, when we were younger, he used to like provide like tickets for us to go to Six Flags through like the connections he had. So he was like somewhat in our lives and um, Whenever like he used to snow, I used to shovel his driveway. Calling the 59-year-old Queens resident jovial and a hard worker. I've spoken to him multiple times just about like his line of work, um, just like good like ways to make um, dispensable income as well because he was a businessman. He did make a good amount of money doing what he did. And it's unfortunate that his line of business did um, lead to his demise in the end. Kurt has been a neighbor for more than three decades and finds the news hard to believe. Is Steven? he really, really dead? I know. It's hard to believe, right? Yeah. Oh, he's been such a good neighbor. The FDNY says his body remains trapped in the rubble until cars can safely be removed and the building comes down. Customers now grieving the man they described as funny and a lover of cars. I feel really sad because I, I've known Willis, you know, the garage manager, for over 10 years now. And, and, you know, I walk past the garage every day to take the kids to school. So I've seen them 200 days a year passing by, waving. When I take my car out, if it's during the day, I see them and, and like, you know, he, that, that's the sadness for me. The cars can be replaced, the people can't.